In this video, I'm going to be giving you some practical tips which will help you to get your first publication in less than two months. When I did my first publication, it took me two years to get to that point because I wasn't quite sure what steps to follow and I didn't have the right guidance. My name is Pasan Vitorana. I'm a cardiothoracic surgical trainee currently working in the NHS and I'm also in the final year of my PhD at Imperial College London. So junior doctors want to get publications for various reasons and one of the common reasons why they want to get published is to get points on their specialty application. Most specialty applications in the UK, US and almost every country will give you points if you have done publications and presentations previously. And therefore it is a good way to make sure that you get the training post or the job that you need. Now before I talk about the different ways in which you can get published, I want to focus very briefly on the different types of research papers which exist out there. On one end of the spectrum, you got your literature reviews, your case reports and your letters to editors. And on the other end of the spectrum, you got your systematic reviews, your meta-analysis, which can oftentimes take in excess of an year because it needs a very vigorous methodology and also it needs multiple reviewers to work on the project. So if you're looking to do a publication in a relatively shorter period of time, you might want to think about doing a literature review or a case report, for example. It is worth mentioning something about case reports. Now, some specialties might not give you points on the application for having done the case report because they might not count it as a publication. So if your purpose of doing a publication is to get points on your specialty application, just make sure you check on the website or on the application criteria whether it will get you the necessary points or not and therefore a safe option might be to focus on something like a literature review a literature review entails doing a search on the databases or doing a literature search to be able to answer a certain question or to be able to write on a certain topic and what this entails is coming up with certain search criteria putting them on the database pulling together a few papers that are relevant to your topic and then writing a narrative based on your findings from that study and that's a very very brief description of what a literature review might entail now if you were to do it on an extensive scale then you get your systematic review which follows a much more rigorous search strategy and also there are more steps and also it needs more reviewers to be able to do it successfully therefore one of the tips i'm going to give you is that if you're looking for a paper you can publish relatively easily you might want to think about doing something such as a literature review now this brings me to my tip number two when we think about publications especially if we haven't had any previous experience experience we often look for other people who can help us and there's nothing wrong with that because if you have someone reliable they can guide you and they can point you in the right direction and show you what steps to follow if you don't have the necessary experience but what that also means if there are no one to help you for example in your local hospital or in your local institution you might be waiting for someone to help you but you might never get there because you don't have the necessary guidance around you so if this is the case keep in mind that you don't need a supervising author it is good if you have one but that is not a requirement for publishing something like a literature review. You can get started all by yourself as long as you know what you are doing. And if it's just you on the paper, that is absolutely fine. It can still be published. And therefore, my tip number two is to not wait for anyone to help you. You can get started and you can do all by yourself. If you need some guidance, then you can use, you can look at online resources which might help you. And also you might find courses which might teach you the necessary skills that you need to get your first paper published. Now, this brings me to my final point, which is probably the most important point that I want you to think about. And that is the research question or the research gap. And one of the factors which determines whether your paper is going to be published or not is the research question, uh, which you have answered in your paper. If your topic has been extensively published in the literature previously, the chances of your paper getting published is not going to be very high because that's not going to add anything new into the existing research base. When you start working on your publication, it is worth taking a decent amount of time and searching for what papers are already out there in the research field that you have chosen. And if there are numerous articles that is already published it makes sense to either choose something else or to answer the same question from a different angle therefore my tip number three is that it is very important that you choose the right research question and one way to do that is by searching on PubMed and finding out what papers are already in the existing research base
So these are some very brief tips to get you started. I hope that was useful. If you have any questions, you can mention them in the comments below or you can message me directly as well. And in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to use artificial intelligence to help you with some aspects of a literature review.